Well, it all starts with an idea and then usually the big pitch. That's what a lot of tech startup companies will be doing today. KOLD News 13's Ryan Ferran is live at the UA Tech Park with more. Ryan? Good morning, guys. We are at the Arizona Center for Innovation, and this is where the big day will be today. It is pitch day for 22 startups all around the lobby where they're setting up. And some of the companies that will be here today, there's also a bigger presentation room just next to us where we are at. Now, these 22 startups are here to pitch to potential investors, mentors, and potential partners. This is kind of a business incubator, and this is the first year they expanded to uh, companies all over the state. As you can imagine, a lot of tech companies are here, and the goal here is to help these companies get their product to market and help get these businesses get up and running. So a big day for a lot of companies who are just getting started and coming up on Fox 11. We'll have more about Tech Day and all these very unique startups here. So we'll have that for you coming up on Fox 11. Until then, let's send it back to you guys in the studio. It all starts with an idea, then usually the big pitch. That's what a lot of tech startup companies will be doing later this morning. Fox 11's Ryan Ferrin is live at the U of A Tech Park with more. Hey, Ryan, good morning. Good morning, guys. Yes, we are at the Arizona Center for Innovation, where a lot of local companies will be on the hot seat today giving their pitches. Very exciting day for them. Let's bring in Joanne McMaster, the director for the Arizona Center of Innovation. Good so, jo Joanne, give us the kind of idea behind Pitch Day uh, that's going to be happening here today. Sure. Well, Pitch Day is one event for companies to have the chance to present their projects to an audience of potential partners, mentors, investors, and really engage with the community in a new way. But it also allows the community to see what's happening, new technology, uh, new inventions, and to become supportive of helping us grow our local entrepreneurs ecosystem and these startups are really on the hot seat because you are telling me they get only three minutes to give their pitch which could won't break them but it could make them for sure so how do these companies usually do it with just three minutes getting their message out there that some of these companies have probably been years in the works uh, practice <laughs> so they do have only three minutes there's no longer 15 minutes of fame it's three minutes and so they have to provide a compelling uh, story and an argument talk about what they're looking for and hopefully engage the audience and it's like the tip of an iceberg so the goal is to attract attention so that after the pitches are done they'll meet with the companies or the potential partners or investors and talk more about the company and sort of dig in deeper into the bottom of the iceberg which where the business plan and all of the other things come to play. And this is really an important day for the local econ economy uh, with a lot of these tech startups, and it's a great opportunity for Tucson as a whole. Um, yeah, that's right. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to build our local entrepreneurial ecosystem, right? But today's really unique because we're opening it up to startup companies from all across the state. So we have 22 companies presenting here today. About two-thirds of those are from outside of Tucson. And the really cool thing about that is it helps us raise the voice for entrepreneurship at the state level and engage everybody in a really new and unique way. So we can share best practices, share resources. You know, it also gives the companies a chance to interact with each other in a whole new way and hopefully spark new, uh, new innovation and new, new companies. Joanne, thanks so much for your time and the information. And here's one of the companies that we'll be talking to coming up on Fox 11 at 8.30, if I can hold the mic and the iPad at the same time. This is Your Labs, a local software company here in Tucson. We will get their pitch first. We only give them two minutes, though, here on Fox 11. We'll get the pitch coming up at 8.40 on Fox 11. So there we go. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. It all starts with an idea and then usually the big pitch. Oh, yeah. That's what a lot of tech startup companies will be doing later this morning. Fox 11's Ryan Ferran live at the U of A Tech Park with more. Ryan, what are we talking about? Hey, Mark. Good morning. Well, we are at the Arizona Center for Innovation where it is pitch day. So the pressure is on for some local companies. 22 companies will be here later this morning giving their pitch to potential investors here today. So a very important day. And we're giving the opportunity to one local company here from Tucson to give us their pitch right here live on Fox 11. We're joined by Ravi, the CEO of Your Labs. So Ravi, tell us about your company and uh, what you guys do and the message you're hoping to get across to uh, potential investors today. Sure. sure. So Your Labs is a Tucson-based e-learning software and services provider, and we're helping teachers flip the classroom with our product called the Knowledge Evaluation System. So a lot of students are going online these days, and they're doing all of their uh, quizzes, tests mm -hmm. online, and basically they're just multiple choice or fill in the blank, 
and the students put in their answer, they see if they're right or wrong, and then they go on to the next question. There's simply no feedback about where and how they go wrong, so that isn't very conducive for learning. So what our knowledge evaluation system does, it allows teachers to create pretty awesome multimedia questions with videos and sound and stuff like that, and they give those to their students, and then it breaks the problem down into a series of steps. And at each step, the student can provide feedback about how they made a mistake. So this is really valuable for real-time instruction because the teacher can now visualize all that data and then make real-time changes in their lesson plans in order to identify at-risk students. And um, currently, we're in about three high schools here in Tucson and one department at the University of Arizona. And so far, we've gotten some great positive feedback. And we're planning on uh, getting into about uh, 7,000 schools by 2017. Ravi, that, that was very impressive. Can I invest with zero money down? How, how does that work? <laughs> Not yet. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> how much pressure is it for you guys? It's a great opportunity, but you only get three minutes to do your pitch. So right. what is your main message, and how, how do you kind of formulate your pitch today? So we're all pretty confident about the pitches because the mentors at AZCI have done a pretty awesome job about preparing us for the pitches. And um, the biggest message I want to get across is how fast we can grow the company because that's what investors really like to see. But um, I think we're going to do a great job because we've done a lot of preparation up to this point, and the mentors have done a really awesome job helping us grow our companies, and not only that, helping us grow as entrepreneurs as well. All right, Ravi, good luck today. The pressure is on. He did a fantastic job with us. So 22 companies here today giving their pitches, and it really is a great opportunity for these local tech companies here at the Innovation Park to get their message out and hopefully get their businesses started. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. And if you can handle a grilling from Ryan <laughs> Peran, He'll have no problem tossing those tech experts That's today. That's right. I'm sure he's been having tons of fun out there with them <laughs> this morning playing with all their stuff. For a lot of local tech startups, it was pitch day at the U of A Tech Park. The Arizona Center for Innovation hosted 22 companies for its fourth annual pitch day. The startups were given just three minutes to present their products and company to potential investors. Last year, it worked out very well for a lot of startups that are now off and running. Well, it's a really once in a, you know, a lifetime kind of opportunity for some of the companies because they wouldn't have the opportunity to go out and meet, you know, a ready-made audience of partners and mentors and potential investors. And we do events like this every quarter and we see results every time. So, for example, last year we served about 17 companies and collectively they raised about $3 million to move their ventures forward. Well, very exciting. This is the first year that Pitch Day was opened up to companies statewide. 